From beginners to experienced farmers, they come from all over the country to compete in the New Zealand dairy event here in Fielding. This is the third year in a row for farming family Trude Jersey, who have travelled to Fielding from the Taranaki to compete in this world-class event. Trude Jersey, established in 1964, is a fourth generation family who are here competing at the New Zealand dairy event today. Lyndon Mugridge is third generation of this family, competing here with his Jersey cow, Carleen. I am the third generation of um, Trude Jerseys. Uh, my granddad had pedigrees, my dad had pedigrees, uh, now I've got pedigrees and my nephew's got pedigrees. Four generations, we've been going since 1964. My dad's bred over, I think it's about 40, 45 champion or reserve champion cows. Just, just the past three years, uh, we've been to shows and we've collected up to 50 ribbons at shows. It's been very successful. We've taken anything up to 30 animals to the shows and we've collected in one season from six different shows, we collected 240 ribbons as well as two all show champions with two different cows. So, so there is a lot of success behind True Day. We're a purebred, which is pure stock, pure jerseys, and we originated from Jersey Island, most of our stock. It's bred purely from jerseys, which makes it even more successful when we win. International judge Rob Anderson has flown over from Sydney to judge the All Breeds Youth Show here at the event. There's two sections, like there's a showmanship section, when that's actually on the way that the, the youth actually presents themselves, so the way they're dressed, the way they look, the way they actually can look at the animal and hide the faults of the animal, if I can put it that way and also to actually focus on the judge as well. So he's got to have a balance between what the judge is doing in the ring, because the judge is working with 20 or 30 animals, and the way his animal is looking. So he's trying to make his animal look very smart, ready, so any time that the judge looks around, oh, she looks good. If he doesn't have that animal's position correctly, or the feet and legs in the wrong uh, position, she can look pretty ordinary. And that may be the difference between her standing fourth, fifth, or first. So, so that's from a showmanship point of view. As far as a, a confirmation point of view, it's the way the animals put together. Unfortunately for True Day Jersey, this year didn't work out the way they had hoped. But if it's any consolation, Judge Rob Anderson believes there was very strong competition throughout the classes. How does New Zealand quality stack up against international competition? Quality wise this morning in the youth show was, to me, you had depth in the class. And as a judge, that's what you like to see because it gives you the option to work with those animals and you can actually be very critical on certain traits that I like. So when you've got that depth, it makes it easy for a judge to, you know, place an animal at the top and have good reasons between why he placed her over first and second. But, you know, quality is good. Just looking here at what we can see in the Holstein ring and the Jersey ring behind us, you know what I mean? There's some pretty special animals out there which would compete at our major shows in Australia for sure. All in all, a successful event. Whether or not you placed, there was strong competition throughout, putting New Zealand up there with the best in the world. To come to a venue like this, like this is world class. And for a, a show that's only in its third year, in a venue and an auditorium like this is, is, is pretty special. An experience for some, hoping next year they'll come home with some rewards. Emma Jones, Country 99 TV News.